after a crazy final minute here Tuesday night at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. It was this man behind me right there, Luke Fisher, who was able to ice the game for the Golden Eagles and send them home victorious. And the path to victory was groomed right from the get-go for the Golden Eagles as they came out playing some terrific team basketball. The biggest beneficiary of the quick ball movement was center Luke Fisher, who tallied 19 points in the first half alone. It's the best offense we've played in the first half. Uh, we had 17 assists, I think, on 21 made field goals and only three turnovers. And you didn't really know who was scoring because the ball was moving. And the open guy is the one who ended up finishing the possession. And that's the way we want it to be. However, the tide would quickly turn in the second half when Isaac Copeland would go bananas. The sophomore forward who finished with 33 points would lead the late Hoya resurgence. Finding themselves down a point with just 4.6 seconds to go, Marquette needed some magic and they would find it on a crisp pass from Tracy Carter to Fisher who would draw the contact. With the pressure on his shoulders, Fisher would deliver in crunch time and knock down a pair to seal the deal for the Golden Eagles. But our guys showed really good toughness. You know, we, we bend, but we didn't break. And we had guys step up and make huge plays. We, we work on that stuff every day. Uh, you know, pressure free throws at the end of practice. You know, if, if you miss, you run. So, uh, you know, just wanted to make my team proud and, and you know, uh, come out with a W. With the win here Tuesday night, the Golden Eagles have put themselves in a position to battle for the sixth seed when they head to Indianapolis to take on Butler Saturday afternoon. Reporting from the BMO Harris Bradley Center, I'm Matt Unger, MUTV Sports.